Hello everyone, welcome back to another amazing day. Uh, I've been doing a lot of thinking lately and just something that I thought I'd share with y'all. Uh, I absolutely love my job. <laughs> I get to come fishing every day and I, I'm just in love with it. Uh, there was a point in time in life when I used to always rush away the time thinking about like, oh, I can't wait for the weekend. And then in doing so, you forget to live life day to day. Ever since I started doing this, uh, I did the change of pace, took the big leap of faith and stopped worrying about money. M my life, the stress, everything has just melted away. I've become a different person, enjoying what life has to give you, what mother nature has to offer you. It's so breathtaking being out there. So just wanted to share that with you guys today. We're going to do some fishing. I'm here with my boy Nick, RX Angler. Check him out. Description, or actually his channel is going to be linked in the description down below. We're going to go do some weight fishing, something that I rarely do, but that's uh, Nick's roots. And hopefully we're going to catch some fish. But uh, special treat for y'all at the end of the video. So hopefully you stick around till then. Let's get out there. Did a switch up really fast. Want to see if the black with chartreuse tail swimming jack is going to produce some type of a fish we've been throwing the live bait and yeah these trout seem to be resistant to it i'm gonna swim this a little bit lower inside this little uh, gut that runs through I'm trying to reach that sandbar right over there i don't know if the gopro lens is going to pick it up but it's there trust me with all these little minnows i before we leave i have a mind to put a quarter ounce spoon but this is definitely the style of fishing that I need to learn. It's my weakness. Wade fishing, open water fishing. Yeah, lots of little guys out there jumping that I can see. But nobody's biting our line. I mean, sh uh, live shrimp, you can never go wrong with that. You seen shark tail? Live shrimp, man. That's where it's at. Slight change of plan again. Nick was just like literally popping his cork right in front of him because we have a lot of bait minnows that are about that big and they're swimming all around us. You can see them as they turn sideways, they start flashing. So he just cast his cork right next to him and was popping it and it immediately went under. I'm going to put a treble hook back on with a split shot, free line, some shrimp out there and we'll see what's going to happen with that there we go finally got him on the drift little sheep's head how did this dude get hooked around bro like there we go. Let me go get the pliers. Nice little hook set right there at the corner of the mouth. Just like that. Admire the little fella. And there he goes. Yeah, these are exceptionally small shrimp. <clears throat> Oh God, it's a small guy, but still. Kroka. So if y'all catch croaker that's this size, it is perfect for offshore bait. Hey, 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 I'm on your team. I'm on your team, hold on. Okay, you got bamboozled by all three hooks, buddy. How do you feel now? Bet you don't feel too good about yourself. Right there, get that one out. Let's get that one out and that one out. And then you can just hear him croak. Again, one more time. <laughs> okay, there he goes. Talk about a good day, everyone. Spending my time with great company catching some fish 
and uh, you know that old saying beauties in the eye of the beholder well I mean the same holds true with the quality of fish you catch do I know I can catch fish heck yeah just watch all my old videos and uh, you'll see what I'm saying but uh, today it was all about the little guys enjoying what life has to offer as I said earlier you see this right here this is my office welcome to my office I've never eaten whiting before this should be interesting I think it's good oh, yeah I've never had it before said, a lot of people say it's tasty I, I don't really eat it either Honestly, I don't remember the last It'll be time my first time it. trying it. I'm happy this guy uh, took one for the team. It's a nice size fillet right here. Take off that fin. There we go. All right, everybody. This is like the secret to do any type of blackened fish is basically butter and a very hot cast iron skillet so we got both and here we go kind of dry those off just a little bit i got some, just a generic zatarans blackened seasoning use whatever you want boy this is just going to be a tease bro Well, thank goodness Nick caught something worthy of throwing on the uh, pan. I want to thank that little fella for giving up his life to provide us with some substance. There we go. Look at that. I know that seems like a lot of butter, but trust me, it's not. Because I brought the fail safe. Uh, in the event that we were not going to be able to catch any fish because we have just really bad conditions um, We went to Bucky's and bought one really expensive steak All right, so let's get this pan good and going Just like that Look at that right there fellas Cheers, man. Yeah. Good times, bro. We got the beverage. Good company. Whew, this is the life right here. Oh, yeah, that's what I'm saying. All right, everybody. Well, what y'all just missed was uh, us devouring this whiting that Nick caught and we threw on a skillet to blacken. Um, it's good, it's delicious. There you go, bro. There's one more bite. Kill it, bro. Kill it. I'm drinking beer. <clears throat> that is really good. It's got a nice crispy taste to the outside. Super flaky and moist on the inside. And the blackened seasoning. Oh, it's such such a good taste. Salt and pepper, people, that's all you need. Salt and pepper. This steak is ready to be eaten. And look at that, it is just, oh gosh, it's so good. I'm gonna take it right off. It's been salted, peppered, that's all you really need to do. Let's turn off the burner. Here we are, check this out. Oh, look at that, it's just like cooked to perfection. That is a nice medium right there. And it just goes right through it like butter. Bro, this is gonna be delicious, man. <laughs> Here you go. go man chef mark chef mark with the steak hookup it is freaking amazing looking i bet it tastes so good bro this is so good oh my god bro. dude like seriously this is like manna from heaven dude it's so good the only thing i can make it better is a beer 
Wow. Well done, my friend. Well Bro, done. this is absolutely delicious. I'm, I'm telling you what. I'm kind of heartbroken that we didn't catch a fish like that was worthy enough of the blackening, but this makes up for it. This is how you do it, boys. Get a piece of steak, rub it in that butter right there. It's okay, I, I'll get my doctor to give me Lipitor. <laughs> As oh. I, I can feel it. Oh. Bro, what if we can do this every day of my life? Bro? We can! Just don't pay your bills. <laughs> <laughs> okay, everyone. Steak's almost done. But I just wanted to let y'all know that this lifestyle that I've been introduced to since my retirement is absolutely, it's bliss. No stress. It's carefree. You come out enjoy your time with great company having a bunch of laughs y'all know what it is i mean it's the it's what we all chase in, in life everybody if you're watching this video you're doing it because you love fishing i love fishing nick loves fishing we all love fishing it's something that we share i hope that one day each and every one of y'all are able to do what it is that i'm doing now i did a lot of suffering to get to where i am so luck has nothing to do with it but I will say this because of y'all I get to sustain my lifestyle and I really appreciate it so if you enjoyed the video click that thumbs up button if you're not subscribed to the channel please do so it doesn't cost anything and all you have to do is create an account so if you have an account already I don't know what you're waiting on just hit that subscribe button again it doesn't cost anything until next time y'all tight lines Absolutely delicious. You know, when they asked us in elementary, what do you want to be when you grow up? Most kids said doctors, lawyers, a veterinarian, a fireman, an astronaut. <clears throat> Not me. I said I want to be a fisherman. <laughs> I want to sit right on the sand next to the water drinking a beer and eating blackened whiting with some good steak. <laughs> <laughs>